<laughs> How about that? Okay, joins us as we look at some uh, weekend snow coming in. Yep, a little bit of snow coming in. It all depends on where you are. We usually talk about north and west suburbs are going to mm -hmm. get the most north. And west. This time it's the opposite. South mm -hmm. and west, really, down toward mm -hmm. D.C. and Baltimore. That's the area that's going to mm -hmm. do best with this storm. If you're a huge snow lover, it's not your favorite storm. If you're just like a little bit of atmosphere, you might like okay. this one. Nice way to ease into this pattern change. It has been a bitterly cold Friday. The cold is here. It's here to stay at least for a while. And we are tracking the first snow of 2019. Not a ton of it, but enough. Let's take a look outside right now. Speaking of snow, we'll take you up to the Pocono Mountains where the lights are on up there at Bl uh, Big Boulder. And you can see a lot of people are out there on the slopes getting ready to hit the snowboard rails and enjoy an evening outside. But it feels like zero right now in the Poconos. So I hope they are bundled up with just the eyes showing. You definitely want to wear many, many layers if you're going to be out, especially in the mountains here tonight. 16 is the current temp in Mount Pocono, 30 in Allentown, 32 in Philadelphia. Again, it feels like zero in Mount Pocono, it feels like 20 in Allentown, and it feels like 23 in Philadelphia. Storm Scan 3 shows it's clear right now, but here is our storm. You can see snow now starting to break out across much of southern Illinois. Most, most of this will stay off to the south. The trajectory of the storm takes it almost due east as we go into the weekend. This big cold Arctic high is going to suppress it to the south. So the air coming in around the eastern flank of this high is very cold and it's very dry. That means the northern edge of this is going to have trouble getting started. It's going to take a while before the atmosphere even moistens up enough for snow to begin. That's why the area is off to our north. Not going to see much from this. This is overnight Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Snow light from the city on south. Then it does start to pick up a little bit Sunday morning, especially across extreme South Jersey and Delaware. Because this is coming overnight and early morning, you're not going to have that much trouble with mixing. Temperatures will be very cold. The storm does not really begin to strengthen until it moves offshore, so it does stay relatively weak, and that means amounts are relatively light. So light snow beginning late tomorrow or tomorrow night. That high keeps the low to the south, and again, generally light accumulations. Here's our snow map. A coating to an inch at best from Allentown down toward the city. You get from the city on south, that's the one to three range. That includes the shore and down into northern Delaware. The best chance to see three inches plus Dover on south into Sussex County and back toward Baltimore and uh, Washington, D.C. with this storm. So as far as weekend travel is concerned, clouds increasing tomorrow, but it's dry. Saturday with the falling snow Saturday night, there could be some reduced visibilities. Sunday, it does start to taper off, but watch for slick spots left over on the roads because it does stay very cold. Even though this is not a lot of snow, temperatures are going to be in the low 20s when this is falling. That means it's the light, fluffy snow, and it does tend to stick to those roadways. So please be safe. Again, this is not your go to the grocery store and stock up on French toast supplies mm. kind of storm, but you do need to be safe if you're out on the roads, and it does look quieter through next Are week. these your mood flakes? A little bit, especially yes. to the north. It'll be a little atmosphere okay. Sunday morning, but not I too like many that. problems unless you go further south. Gotcha. Thank, Thank you. you, Kate. Appreciate it. Still ahead.